All right, Cameron Smith, what an incredible performance this last weekend at the Open Championship. Uh, obviously, a lot of talk about how great his putting is, um, but he has such a great move with his golf swing, too, so we're going to kind of dive in here and take a look at what makes him, in addition to being a great putter, such a fabulous ball striker. So um, here's a setup, and, uh, you know, overall, a lot of great things. I love the club kind of going right through the belt. Uh, usually I see players tilting at about a 50 to 55 degree angle, so he's kind of right on right on the line there with that. And uh, as far as lines go, I'll dry a box around his head, uh, just for reference of where he's moving forward or backwards, and then a line on his tailbone so I can kind of see where he's moving in space there. Um, what I really want to kind of show you here is, you know, how he goes back. And there's some things that I like. There's some things that, for some people, can throw him off a little bit. Uh, but he just does such a great job at coming back down. And we're going to take a look at that right now. So um, what I kind of see as he starts back is he gets a little bit of push out from his arms. His arms slightly move away from his body. You can kind of see them moving out a little bit there. Um, club face is in a nice position, kind of matching his spine angle there. Um, but what happens is, you know, he gets very little depth at the start of his backswing, and then he gets a lot of it at the end. So you're going to kind of see as he goes back towards the end of the backswing, his hands are going to actually move in quite a bit more, which is actually then going to put the club a little more across the line at the end of the backswing. So it's kind of all happening, you know, right about here. You can kind of see that move at the end there where the butt end of that club is really kind of moving inward a lot towards the final little piece of that backswing. So I think that's something that a lot of people kind of notice in his swing that kind of gives it a different look. But, you know, one thing that I see when people do that, and he does a great job of recovering from it, is you'll tend to see people try to back away from the ball to create a little space, shallow out that club, and, and kind of that's exactly what you're going to see is him backing away a little bit from where he started uh, as he comes down. So you can kind of see his head now is maybe four or five inches further away from, from where it started. Let's go back and take another look at that. So he's kind of here at the top, then he kind of backs away. But it, it's hard to argue that there's a better player or anyone much better from about waist high to waist high. I mean, the club's absolutely fantastic coming right through his form. That's something I look at a lot. Uh, you know, slicers and people who pull the ball tends to get above their forearm and guys that kind of get stuck at it way too underneath. And I love the club face. It's in a very neutral to slightly strong position. Um, just so good right here. Um, and though even though he backed away with his head a little bit, you're going to see his lower body's in a, in a really good position as well. And then I just want to show you how great he is through the ball. It's absolutely fantastic. So a little bit out, and then kind of that late depth right there where he gets across. Um, and then he kind of backs out of it a bit, but lower body's looking good. And then check this out. So good from here down. Again, I'd put him up pretty much against anybody. Um, you're going to see him continuing to rotate. Let's put a box around his head here. This is something I noticed with all the top players is, you know, there's definitely head movement in the golf swing, whether it's, you know, a little bit off the ball from the front on, as you can kind of see there, a little bit of a back away. Some guys lower quite a bit. Um, but through the ball, you're not going to generally see a ton of change uh, in their kind of spine angle or especially with, you know, if you just drew a box around their head in two dimensions. And what I love here is you're just kind of seeing him very steady, rotating, a nice, great position with that trail arm where the, kind of that elbow lines up well with the shaft, a nice bend there, allowing him to kind of stay down in his posture a little bit better. Love that. And then watch this club face control. So good. Arcing up that line. He's so great from where he is at the top, it's still swinging back to the left. You can just see great control of that club face right there. Not a lot of manipulation, you know, not losing the face. And then you're going to see that club just exiting in a very good fashion right there and, and actually pretty much matching up with where he's coming down. So you can kind of see it pretty similar through there. Um, love how his legs are working. One thing I see with a lot of players also that maybe get a little bit across the line is you're going to see that trail leg work out a lot. So I really like here, whereas if I draw a line kind of from the end of his shoes to his right knee, you're really not going to see his right knee protrude and, and shoot much beyond that line. Uh, that generally gets people a little bit more stuck, makes it harder to rotate, harder to swing to the left for the right-handed golfer. Um, and so, you know, like I said, kind of the uniqueness is he gets his arms a little out and that depth at the end backs away a little bit, but then from about waist high down, he's absolutely fantastic. Watch that trail knee working in and away from that line. You can see everything kind of pushing this way, which I love. Obviously center of the face, huge fundamental of the top players. They're almost always hitting it in the center of the face or very close to the center of the face. And then I just love how these hands are working, you know, along with his shoulders because the shoulders are opening. They're working to the left, you know, really controlling that face through the impact interval. Great face angle there, great exit, uh, and then, you know, fantastic finish as well. So I'm liking pretty much everything I'm seeing here. 
Love the finish, kind of cutting the head in half through the ears, still maintaining some side bend. Um, just absolutely perfect. So just know there's a lot of ways to do it. You know, I'm always looking the most, especially with the really talented players, is, you know, what are they doing, you know, from waist high to waist high? How's their body motion? How's the face? Where's the low point? You know, what's really happening through here? Is there a lot to time? Is there a lot to judge? Um, and, and a lot of the times the answer is no, and especially with Cameron Smith. So absolutely love this. Uh, thanks for tuning in. V1's a great software. Love using it for uh, all of my lessons and also analyzing the greats of major champions like Cameron Smith.